Now you can see two springs. Um, this one and well, the other one is um, connected there and there. And, uh, first of all, this one um, closes the shutter leaves when the uh, shutter is released before it opens them again. So uh, you can see how both the aperture as well as the shutter leaves uh, open when I turn this. And the other is for stopping down the aperture automatically. Um, you can see how this spring is bent while I tension this. So once you understand that, um, it is no big deal to put them back together in the same position. Now I uh, flip it over and continue on this side to remove uh, the setting ring for the speeds. I first need to remove this clamp and I usually use two screwdrivers and bend it open and hopefully it would lift off from its own. Yeah, that is. This is the caulking ring, and I will remove it next. Note the state of the tooth engaging each other. The first tooth of the cocking ring is um, between the first teeth of uh, the main drive um, ring. So unhook the spring. This is the mechanism, the escapement for um, the shutter speed times. This is the self timer mechanism. This whole part is for the flash sinks, and this is the main drive that actuates everything. And uh, I will take out everything uh, sequentially to clean everything. In this case, it might seem not so necessary because everything is clean already. But as we saw in the beginning, the um, those mechanisms uh, will need to be cleaned very well, and I can only do that when I remove them. And also, the uh, something um, is wrong with the flash sync because it didn't work. So maybe you can see why that is then. To remove the, the escapement mechanism, there's one screw here and one there. Then the self timer. this spring so I can remove the main drive
Next uh, for the flash sync, there's two screws on the end. Don't don't change the screw. And uh, this screw is a bit special, and there's a spring underneath that I want to unhook before I unscrew it. To remove this lever, I need to push in the contact of the flash sink a bit. Yeah. Now the retard mechanism for the M sink. You can see how. Can be cocked and released. And first, I like to remove the spring. Well. That's all from the flash sync. Uh, yeah, I finish. I finish this side first. So there's still some things that can be removed for easier cleaning. Um, first of all, these two levers are for the self timer, and they have springs on them. I want to remove the springs first. Now in this case it's easier to remove the screws first. For this screw, um, you need a special screwdriver, and I made one myself. It looks like this. There it is. This spring is very delicate and easy, easily lost. Okay. 
Okay. One last thing. There's the spring over here. Also very easily lost that I like to remove. And that's it from this side first. Now to continue from this side, again three screws. One of them is a bit special because um, it holds the spring for the shutdown, for the close down aperture. This is the special one. And that's it from this side. Now um, the next step will be to remove these three screws and just be aware that when you remove them that uh, the shutter leaves will be free and they can be uh, they can jump out then. But I think I want to do that in this case because not because the shutter blades are uh, dirty, in this case they are clean, but I want to um, clean and re-lubricate the uh, ring that's underneath that drives it because I think it slows down the f um, the speeds and that's why the speeds are too slow. Now carefully lift it off. There's always five shutter leaves in, in the contaflexes and sometimes this differs Sometimes one is uh, special, in this case the top one, it has a different shape, it will be better seeable once I took them out. And also notice that they are put on in a counterclockwise direction and all onto the previous ones, so they are not interleaved like the aperture. And I like to open them first. Well, it doesn't really matter. But now you can see the, the different shape. This one has a um, different shape than the other ones. That's because uh, the pinion for the main drive goes through here and um, of course it's in the way of the blade. Also this is the first blade that comes in. Now I can take them off. The position of this here is obvious because the pinion for the but the shaft for the main drive must must come through. And that's already everything. Now the only thing that's remaining is the sector ring that sits underneath the tibial mount for the lens. And I can reach it by unscrewing three screws.
this is the sector ring. Pretty clean already, a bit of lubrication it has. Of course I don't want to remove the lubrication if it's still good. Just to be sure, I remove it and relubricate it. What I'm using here is uh, NAFTA as a solvent to remove the old grease. Now yeah, this is already very clean. So my smartphone decided that its memory was full, so sadly some minutes are lost here. But what I did was I reinstalled the section ring and I lubricated it and I, well, I first cleaned it and then lubricated it with a very soft um, graphite pencil. And well, it's now important that the section ring moves very easily. There. This looks very good. In this part there's a bit of corrosion and um, as the shutter leaves are directly touching this surface I find it very important that it's very frictionless but with the corrosion there's, uh, there's friction so I really want to remove that so I polish that away and I put it onto my post it block because I don't want to bend anything because of this pin okay so, so this is a drop of um, polishing paste and I use a cotton bud, a bit of water. And then it can be polished like this. Now I clean this very well. 
NAFTA again. All right. Now let me change um, the tissue because it's dirty for cleaning the blades and also I need to clean my fingers. <laughs> 